All right, fellas, I'm going to try this one more time. I've had nothing but frustration with this phone and trying to do this video about the twisted wedge heads. So these are pirate's heads. They were on the Black Pearl when it blowed up. Uh, he sent them with Richard Sickles up to a shop by Richard, and they did a bunch of work to them, put new valve guides in where they needed, and flat milled them and whatnot. So uh, I got them now. I offered to do a little just a, some minor port work, a little bowl work, and some work in the chamber because that's where these heads kind of really need it. And uh, one thing that I found on these, it's kind of interesting, is the outside perimeter of that black line is about where the bore would be when these are mounted on a 4.0 stock 302 block, which this is what uh, Pirate's going to run. He's going to have a Explorer short block, uh, Anderson N61 cam, and he's going to run a TFSR. Uh, long runner upper. I suggested he get a box, but I don't know if he's found one yet. Uh, I think a box upper would work better than the, the uh, long runner. So what I've done, I started on these. I had a comparison on the other video videos of uh, like a bone stock everything versus one that I worked on already. But uh, <laughs> the phone has not been cooperating. But uh. So what I was saying is like part of this uh, chamber is shrouded by the uh, cylinder bore. It's on the exhaust, so it's not like if it was on the intake, you know, that'd be a lot worse. But just the way these are, because you got like a 2.02 in intake valve and a 1.6 exhaust valve, there's just not a lot of room in there for the uh, for all that in a four inch bore. So what I've done on this head that I got to do on this one yet, Mostly on this chamber, I got what I got done is just to uh, flatten this out a little here, make that less sharp. As you can see here, it's kind of the Darren Morgan posted in a thread on Yellow Bullet. I'll put a link up to it. He talks about how restrictive these heads are, the chamber itself, how the how much more uh, flow you can pick up with them. So. Because these are pirates heads not mine I'm not going to do as much in the chamber as I would with my own if I on mine I'm gonna open this up here a little more kind of lay that wall back and probably do the same up here I'm not done done with this still uh, got a little bit of work so you see the line even up here it's a little not real straight and it's kind of the same here on on one that's not been touched I'm also you see the air is going to be coming in about like so. So that's why this should be kind of laid back a little bit. And then this, where the spark plug is, uh, kind of knock that off a little bit too to give some room for the air to flow in. And then uh, right here, I'm smoothing this back a little bit. The same on the top. Uh, and then I'm making this pinch a little bit bigger. And the overall port's getting the burr finish. And then the exhaust is getting is getting a just a made the exhaust port wider, and then just run a sanding roll in through the rest of it and make it smooth it out. I had I had this in the uh, parts washer at work. I worked on these at work this morning, just because it's Sunday morning. I don't want to make a bunch of racket here at house with the air compressor running and all that early in the morning. Uh, as you can see, the uh, shop painted silver paint all over everything which makes it look nice when you pull it out of the bag but then uh first time pirate goes to change oil you can have all that silver metallic stuff in his uh <laughs> coming out of the oil pan he don't need that kind of anxiety hopefully like i said i run these through the parts washer run once a lot of it came off i got to do some more work on it and i'll maybe hit it with some brake cleaner or something i think i got some we'll see if that knocks uh, a bunch more of it off my my shop local to me that I use does the same thing. I have I bring in uh, twisted wedge heads, and they uh, paint them with cast iron gray spray paint. I had to tell them to stop just because it doesn't do anything. Plus I'm going to paint them when I get done anyway. I'm I'm just going to paint the uh, you know the outside of the head. They got it everywhere. But uh, these were milled like thirty or forty thousandths. Uh, these are what I think are like the first gen uh, twisted wedge heads because you can see the where the uh, rocker stud comes into the intake uh, port. 
So whenever you got that, you always got to make sure to run some sealant on the uh, rocker stud. And I also tap this for a 1 8 inch pipe plug. I don't have any uh, plugs, but I'll probably grab one, put it in there for them, and then do the same in the other one. And I also, where the oil drain back is, I kind of beveled that off a little bit, got the sharp edge just so the oil can drain back a little quicker. So that's the extent of what I'm doing, nothing major. Just, uh, like I said, trying to make it a little more efficient for him so he can get that uh, the uh, pearl into the sixes. I don't know if it's going to do any work about the uh, the uh, getting some weight out of the car while it's apart. Hopefully it does because that you know every little bit helps, especially when you're trying to go fast. And, uh, I guess that's about it. This is a uh, like I said, I had done three videos before, tried to loop them together, and then uh, when I did the, uh, the filmmaker that I used to uh, put them all together, didn't cooperate. So uh, I'm putting, I forgot to get the laptop out so I can show you something. So uh, now I'm stalling for time until the laptop starts up. So, uh, when I did the filmmaker, I had the three clips, and uh, the thing wouldn't. Uh, I use filmmaker. I, you know, I make a clip, and then I have another clip, and then I use another one. I put them all together. Boom, I'm done. That's going on the YouTube's. Well, I did that, and then uh, I never looked at it beforehand. You know, I never checked them out. So what happened when I got to the part of the videos where I was showing you stuff on the spreadsheet here? The phone was like that, and I don't remember doing it. Uh, so I put it on private and then I redid the whole thing all over again tried to do it all in one deal this morning when I was at work and it did the same thing only like the whole segment the whole uh, thing was on you know like I was doing it like this which is kind of awkward when it shows up you got to tilt your head sideways I didn't want everyone getting stiff necks so I took that one off too so now I'm gonna try it again and if this don't work the phone's getting thrown off the bridge and I'm gonna go get a new one but what I was gonna show you I've, I've mapped the port and I'm I know I've showed you with the calipers where I measure every half inch increment the height and the width and then I put it in here and then I get a minimum cross-section area I get the average diameter so the average diameter of a stock twisted wedge is 1.68 for the intake 1.50 for the exhaust and then after the porting that I did, you got 1.72 for the intake and 1.53 for the exhaust. It's a little bit of an increase. Like I said, it's measurably bigger, but not hugely bigger. And mostly just trying to make it more efficient. So uh, that's the extent of it. I got one head mostly done. That's this one. I just got to do some more work on this chamber here and then touch up a couple other things. And then I can get wrap up this one. Hopefully I can get these done today or not, if not tomorrow night, and then get them back to him because I know he's anxious to get that thing back together. So we'll try this again. If, it's, if you see it up online and it worked out, and we'll press on. If not, we'll just have to tell you about it some other time. All right, later, fellas. Appreciate you.